I'm going to give you the answer now, and then we can backpedal this. The distance from the destruction of the first temple to the destruction of the second temple is 490 years. The date for when the first temple was destroyed is quite a bit different. This is because it was destroyed by the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar. And we have a lot of records and archaeological evidence that can be used to calculate the dates for his reign, as well as the dates for his various military campaigns. So we know with almost 100% certainty that the first temple was destroyed in the year 586 BCE, give or take one year. This means that the Jewish date for this event is about 166 years off. This is a fact that has been acknowledged by Jewish scholars for quite some time now. There are perhaps a few fringe groups out there that still try to argue that the Jewish date is right and the historically accepted date is wrong, but for the most part, Jewish scholars today accept the date of 586, not 420. This 166 year discrepancy is often referred to as the missing years on the Jewish calendar. And there have been several different explanations given for why the early rabbis made such a major mistake. For example, some argue that the mistake was deliberate and was made so that people couldn't try to calculate the date for the arrival of the Jewish Messiah. Others argue that the dates were meant to be symbolic and not literal.